Michael Jordan is one of the most popular sports heroes of all time, a million-dollar basketball star who's a definite winner. But Michael's love for being on top may be causing him to scrape the bottom of his bank account. Steve Dunleavy sat down with a golf hustler who claims Michael's off-court betting habits are foul play. On the court, he may be the king, but Michael Jordan has unwittingly made this man a pauper. Right now, I'm looking at nine years, two months, in a fellow's penitentiary. His name is Jim Slim Bula, a big-money golf hustler, and he regrets the day he beat Michael Jordan out of a $57,000 check. Well, for number one, uh, when Michael sent me the check for $57,000, the federal government uh, confiscated the check. They sent me a letter said that the check was uh, drug proceeds. Uh, I was laundering money, uh, paying the check illegally, and uh, this is where all the problems began. The problem really began here in September of 1991 at the Monroe Country Club in Monroe, North Carolina. President Bush had invited the Chicago Bulls to the White House. But instead of going to the Capitol to meet with the President, Michael Jordan was losing capital to Hustler Slim. Because I choose to spend a few days privately with myself and, and, and with my family, and everyone's coming to these conclusions that, you know, I'm disrespecting my team or disrespecting the President. The day that uh, Michael was supposed to go see President Bush, we were playing golf, and I, you know, I feel like, um, during that, during that particular time, if Cedar went to see the president, I feel like, you know, a lot of these problems that I have now when it came, because, number one, I was tried by a Republican Party, and, it, you know, it was a disgrace to the Republican Party when he didn't go see, the, when he didn't go see the, the president. Slim Buller at the time was being probed by the Fed for money laundering. When they asked him about the $57,000 check, he said it was a loan from Michael Jordan. Jordan backed up the story, and then the truth came out. Part of it was uh, uh, from golf proceeds, and some of it was, was a loan. You know, I would loan him money to, like he'd be playing cards, he'd need, you know, some money. I would loan him some money. Buller, in an intriguing interview, gave a rare insight into the gambling habits of the $35 million a year man, Michael Jordan, and the world of big money golf. I mean, you can't stand the heat and get out of the kitchen. And the kitchen was hot when Michael and Slim played big money golf. $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 on a game. When the hot hands of basketball turned to the cool hand look of the golf course, Michael would lose to Slim as much money that could buy you or me a big house. $180,000 or something like $186,000, but I don't know. I can't put it, I can't give you a ballpark figure because you win today, you lose tomorrow. But right now, Slim is a loser because that $57,000 check has got him convicted of money laundering together with illegal possession of a hunting rifle. And next week, he goes to jail. I mean, they're giving me more time than they would give a hard criminal that would go out and kill somebody. I mean, you can kill a man and, and don't do nine years and two months. Don't lose everything that you worked hard for. But work for Slim was the golf course and golf betting bought him a pro golf shop, a big house, and four cars. I beat a guy, well, I was playing for a fella, and I, it told up about maybe a half a million. Slim says that with Michael Jordan, it's not the money, it's the action. You know, 10, 15, 20,000 dollars to Michael Jordan is like five, five to 10, 20 dollars to an average working man. I mean, it's not, I don't, I don't think he's uh, concerned about the money, I just, I just think he's concerned about more about the competition. I mean, he, he likes to crucify you. I mean, it is not that, it's not the matter of the money. He'd like to just beat you. I mean, just, just beat you. And uh, I feel that's where he get his, his half from. Would you say that Michael Jordan has a problem with gambling? I don't know if he have a problem or not. But if, it, if he uh, have a problem, then I, I suggest that he go somewhere and get some help. Slim says Jordan is philosophical about losing like the time when a small fortune was riding on a single shot. I think he'd have made about maybe 15, 20,000. I don't know. When Michael made bogey, and our other friend made bogey, his reaction was, Michael said, and the other guy took his club and broke him. 
Michael looked at him and shook his head and smiled and walked right on off the seat and got in the van and went on home. And Slim revealed a little secret about Michael's old rival. There's no one in the world that Michael Jordan would love to beat than Lawrence Taylor. In the meantime, Slim Buller has to concentrate on beating time. Nine years and two months.